Denver's newest music venue opens in Ruby Hill Park, and we have passes for all of you. Join us for an exclusive behind-the-scenes look with Levitt Pavilion Denver's inaugural act. I'm Rebecca Jacobson, and this is Your City Now. What began as a dream five years ago became a reality this week as the Levitt Pavilion, Denver's newest music venue, took the wraps off their new stage in Ruby Hill Park. I think what makes Denver unique right now is just the sheer amount of people who are moving here that are in that 20 to 30 year old range that are looking for uh, activities that extend beyond the outdoor activities that, that Colorado offers. Partnering with the City of Denver and the Department of Parks and Rec, Levitt Pavilion Denver is a nonprofit established with the purpose of building community through music with a space two and a half times the size of Red Rocks. This season, Levitt Pavilion will offer 50 free, yes, I said free, concerts featuring local, regional, national, and international acts. And several of the concerts will be carried live on Denver 8 TV. A family of five can't afford five tickets to Red Rocks at 80 to $200 a piece, you know. So we, we want to bring those same caliber artists out to Levitt and give those families an opportunity to bring their entire family regardless of their, uh, their economic status. Levitt isn't just for big name performers. Emerging Colorado based musicians will be paid above current local scale and half of the concerts will be dedicated to those Colorado based acts with the rest featuring emerging national and international groups. We think of ourselves as tastemakers for the community and we're here to introduce you to new music instead of the stuff that you're just used to listening to. And then it was time. First for some formalities like remarks from city executives. I am so excited on behalf of Mayor Michael Hancock, who is out of town and he's sorry he couldn't be here tonight, to welcome all of you to the grand opening of the Levitt Pavilion. The Pavilion City Council representative. And this community, and let's hear it for our, my Ruby Hill people in the house. And we, I, know I see Overland, Athmar Park in the house. The citizens, the citizens of this community, of these neighborhoods stood up and said, we want more, we deserve more, and we're going to get more. And, and even a member of the Levitt family. We are honored, deeply honored, to be part of this opening and to be partners with the Friends of Levitt Pavilion Denver. The ribbon was cut. And it was time for music, with Andy Thomas's Dust Heart leading off. Some people call this a gamble. I think I know the reasons why. Followed by Halden Woford and the High Beans. Thank you all so much. Enjoy, Slim Sesta! Headliner Slim Cessna's Auto Club closed out a great first night of music. One thing that's nice about tonight is I know several people who have children now and can't really go to shows anymore and they're all coming with their kids. It's walking distance and it's just a fun outdoor activity for the family. An opening night left residents wanting more. Come visit. Denver's amazing. Visit their website at levittdenver.org for complete venue information and a full event calendar. And from YCN, your city now, welcome to Denver. Levitt Pavilion isn't the only city spot for hot tunes in the open air. Visit the Skyline Beer Garden on Friday and Saturdays for live music and frosty mugs. Meet in the Street is a mini street fair on Saturdays with live music performances as well as artists and civic groups. The classic City Park Jazz offers up local luminaries on Sunday evenings. And for a midweek pick-me-up, check out Cool Hills Restaurant's Beats on the Creek Summer Series every Tuesday. Cheeseman Park Arts Fest is coming up on the 29th and will feature two days of live music as well as tons of local art. For more art and music, catch Swallow Hill Musicians at the Clifford Still Museum on August 4th. All of these events are free, but most only run through August, so make plans to hear some outdoor encores soon. Join us for a new edition of Your City Now every Friday. Thanks for watching.